Hi, Dream Code is back again, and today I'm going to talk about GitHub and how you can upload your code, how you can work on GitHub because GitHub is a very nice platform that allows you to upload your code and manage your project and you also can create a repo repositories uh, which might contain uh, script codes or different language uh, different projects stuff like that so yeah first of all we're gonna create another account because uh, let's verify this how is the arrows okay good let's see and create an account uh, I'll choose a free account uh, actually okay. my organization is Ripple come on yeah dude I don't think you have to do the organization stuff Actually, yeah, you don't have to do the organization. You only have to create your account. You must hit the uh, GitHub. So I'm going to create a new. Okay. After verifying the email address, we can start a project. We can create here a repo. I'll say. Uh, also, I said this to public because I'll let you access it after our code. And also, I'll select the readme. It's very important to use readme because the readme helps you to know uh, what are you doing there. Create a repo, and we have the repo. It's very simple. We have the repo. You should uh, have something like this: uh, the name of your uh, account and the repo name. Uh, and also you should have this like readme file if you select that right there uh, which is python basics and a python basic tutorial is exactly what i wrote right there so we have this what do we do next uh, next uh, we're gonna open our virtual machine because we have to install github on our machine so we have everything here and we need to install github so let's the terminal and uh, we're gonna write right here git simple like that git and we're gonna see here git not found uh, but can be installed with and it's very simple really you have the uh, command right there sudo oh. I usually use apt-get and uh, let's see um, we're gonna get the rep apt minus 9 let's kill some process ids uh, i'm going to close this process id 25 uh, to this i know why uh, let's actually grab them again as you can see we don't have them anymore they are not open as sudo we're gonna clear the console and let's see actually we can write this git and oh now it should work we should do this command Lock. and also cache and keys and lock and also we're gonna do this another common which might fix our problem might fix our problem okay 
Okay, after doing that, we are launching the upgate install and everything is working. Now we can install it. I press I and now the git is uh is installing in the background so yeah please okay so we have here this now uh, we should go into the github i'm gonna log in okay after i log in i'll go to my uh, basic uh, repo and what do you have to do is very simple you have to clone or download and also copy this link you should right click and copy and to get the repo where you sh are working you can easily type right here something like this you go in a uh, python word because right here i want to work and i, sh I we should type right here git clone because we don't know what i want to do and as we can see we have the python basics the python basics is exactly the project which um, created the repository which we have created and if you're going into the repository we can see that we have the readme and we have the file readme. okay another thing that i'm going to show you is that if you want to easily use visual studio code uh, this I recommend using this tool because it's really easy to install and everything else. So we should install it for dev for Linux. And we have this, we're gonna open this. The Visual Studio code, but this is easy to go in the website, download the dev file and after that if you're gonna, going to open that, you're going to have it installed and you can install it really easy up let's go into the activity and search here for studio code we have here the studio code which was the code i'm going to open that because we are going to use this in the near future and as you can see it's very simple and uh, also if you want to open the project you can simply press your file open folder and uh, i'm going to open my project which i recently showed you right there i think python work python basics and i'm going to open the project from uh, visual studio code i haven't done something like amazing or something that no one know but i want to show you every step because uh, so here we have the readme uh now if you want to uh add another file you can simply add from the new file and i want to have here the main the pi i want to create here a python file we don't have the permission create the file it can't happen dude you know we have to use the terminal and uh, let's see also i want to install something else here i want to install bean because i'll use this it's very useful so i'll install Veeam right now We should type here Python because actually Python 3, I'll use Python 3. And as you can see I already have installed Python 3. Right now if I want I can do some stuff like um, print something. I want to see something on the console. Hello world. And we have the result. Also if you want to exit, we can type exit zero. I said that Python is not already installed, so <laughs> I wanted to install it. I think when I uh, got the repo, I use so sudo. So if you do that, the repo is going to be with a root access. So that might not be that good, you know, because some apps which you don't open with sudo access, 
won't allow you to do stuff. Uh, so I'll remove the repo. So I should use this command sudo rmf, and we don't have the repo now. I'm uh, pre by pressing the up arrow key, I want to select the command for cloning the repo to the git clone so I'll use only git clone right here because when you use sudo as I told you all the files will be root so we have the project right back and right now I'm going to open the project back again because I should reopen the visual studio visual studio And also, I'll uh, right click here and pin this uh, to favorites. And let's install the updates. Yeah. And also, we can add files here. If you're gonna write here main.py, you can see that the file is successfully created. And we can import something like import. Um, I don't know what to import. I write a basic main that pipe program, and we're gonna write here print, and we're gonna write here hello world, and we should add here something like if name equals main. Sorry. Then we call the main function, and this should be okay. So this is a basic program. We have a function which is main is an empty function, and we also we are using a simple print function which are printing a message to the console, and we call the main function with uh, this condition. If name equal main, this is a very basic use condition in Python, and you're gonna find it on internet and Google it. And right now, if you want to run this program, we can enable or we can add the terminal, and we can do something like Python tree main.py, and it is going to print the output right here after we. Um, we're gonna call the uh, program so after we wrote the, our first program if you want to plug this into the git because this is our tutorial we are talking here about the git uh, we can git status right here we can hit that command git status and you can see that we have info like on we are on branch master your branch is up to date untrack files so we have an, a new file in order to add new files you should uh, do something like git add point this is going to add or remove the files which you added with the new files actually on your project we added here the python the main the pi actually because it will install it pretty easy I think so I'm installing the extensions and everything that this uh, program wants and after uh, pressing the git add if you're gonna hit the git status always hit git status because git status I'm gonna show you the actual status we have changes to be committed so we have to push this so before we push this into the git, we should uh, enter git commit minus am and right here we're gonna add a commit name so added main.py a basic python script um, but we also should add git config minus minus global user dot email we should add our email right here and also we should add the name right here 
when we created the account we added this right there and name is the dream code and right now when we're gonna commit again it worked so we committed this I'm gonna hit git status we can push the code so git pull always do this should be something that you always must do git pull, git pull and git push origin master this is the like already up to date and now we have to log in with your username and password and this uh, is the username is the ring code and the password is <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that okay after adding that after entering that we have the we have the code uh, added to the github so we're gonna hit git status you can see that everything is okay um a good behavior before we start to code and start to add I don't know scripts to our project is before you start to work you should enter always git pull minus minus your base uh, this will get you everything you work in case that multiple users are working on the same repository uh, and they are working on the master branch so we are on the branch master right now that's why I pushed on origin master uh, then you should do pull your base because if he commits some changes you won't have that changes and then there will uh, be conflict and you should delete the repo and reclone it in order to make it work or find other solutions on the internet so that's why it's very important before you start coding to use this git pull rebase also if you have if you want to store your credentials you can type something like this the git config global credential dev helper and cache timeout uh, this timeout is in seconds so i recommend you to add more right here uh, I'm going to open the calculator to see exactly how much time I should store the credentials so I'll open the calculator so if you want to store this for one week or for two weeks we can type right here so 60 applied by 60 is one hour so if you want to do it for eight hours we should multiply with this actually let's multiply with 12 hours or 24 maybe yeah why not 24 and we have one day so if we want one week we can multiply this by seven and we have here the value so I want to store the credentials for one week so I'll shift and search this right here and after I'll enter this if I'm going to git pull git push um, then I I won't have to add the password each time uh, I git push and git pull because usually you have to enter the password and it's really anno um, annoying so that's why I'm showing you this command it's really simple git config scoreboard to make a helper and you should use this because if you're using the uh, kit, it will help you. Okay, guys, that was it. Wrinkle was it. See you next week with another nice tutorial, another nice uh, episode. I don't know what I'll do, but I think I'll start like coding or something like that. Um, and I'll start maybe entering into some libraries and i'll do some basic stuff so yeah thank you for watching have a nice day see ya